Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising for um, the third week of September. It is a wonderful week. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for your wonderful support, likes and shares. Um, thank you for um, sending me the wonderful messages and for all the people who have reached out to me during the time of the hurricane season. I am glad that I have power and I can send out my readings. Okay, um, this week is going to be a week of the fool. You're going on a new journey and whatever the situation is, you need to understand that whatever the fool is, it's a, a, a situation of you going on a new journey and by you going on a new journey, you're going to understand where you have been. Okay, this is a week of a lot of uh, uh, regrets. You're getting uh, receiving things. You're moving on, but yet still, it's a it's a happy family week. So it's a, it's a strange feeling of nostalgia for a lot of you Pisces. There's going to be new beginnings. You're going to find the inner strength and have a new beginning. So this is going to be good. So okay, let's look at your week, and I have to put my glasses on. All right, let's see. We have the energy of the devil with the hermit. So the hermit is, uh, it's as if you're getting these um, temptation of negative energies or pushing you to do things and you're thinking about it, whatever the situation is. Um, on Monday, and your own, um, the king of pentacles is here. I don't know what is happening, but this king of pentacles keep on um, staying up. A lot of you, this is a week of the full, so new journey, new situations. A lot of you are about to leave certain situations behind. Um, some people who have connected a spirit world, and I'm getting the energy for the people who have connected uh, on the fourth dimension, because the weird thing is that you have the Ten of Cups that is in happy family life. So whatever is happening, there is a happy family life, uh, something that is happening. On Friday, there is going to be a new beginning for you. Okay, you have the weekend of the uh, an emotional balance weekend because you have the four of cups and the two of cups, uh, the king of cups. Okay, so whatever is happening for you, your own energy vibration has come up, and this is a connection in a relationships or so. There is a judgment that is going to happen, and you're going to be moving away from it. And let's look to see because this is a very um consensative week. Because okay, uh, you are having regrets about something, and this regrets has to do with the Knight of Wands. Whoever the Knight of Wands is, someone between the ages of 18 and 35, um, whatever the situation is, is as if uh, um, this person did something and he is running away from it. So, the Knight of Wands is someone who is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. So, whoever this person is, they're younger than you are, and they, they've done something and it's running away from um, what they have created and um, I need to see what have they created what are they running away this night of once is the night of once is the Aries a, a Leo or a Sagittarius and they're running away from it but yet still you're going to have a wonderful celebration over them so you know you're seeing it as a regret but it's not really a regret because uh, they have done something and you are going to be you know seeing it as a thank you for doing that you know whatever you thought you were doing it as a big it has made a phenomenal for me okay so <laughs> and sometimes this is so wonderful because sometimes these things do happen okay you have the hermit and you have the devil and whenever the energy of the hermit and the devil comes up on Tuesday and I'm holding up these cards because I want to see the hermit and the devil the hermit is when you're looking within yourself for um, information you're looking within yourself from to see where is it where did I see it you're looking for the true inner light and you have the energy of the devil that is here giving you some um, um, really bullshit stories okay so the energy of the devil and then you're looking um, at the situation at a relationship in your life and you're wondering why haven't I see this why didn't I see this coming whatever is happening um, why didn't I see this coming and this sort of a thing and you are going to, going to decide to move on okay you're going to decide you're going to move away from a situation and move away 
Um, so you are moving away and there's going to be a judgment whatever the judgment call is it is your call and you're going to deal with it in a liable way a wonderful way um, you're going to decide that this is the end of something you need to leave the situation behind and move away from it I am feeling and I'm honestly feeling because the energy of the devil we have the energy of the lovers here so it could that you found out that your partner had been seeing someone else and that sort of a thing as we look forward we have the energy of the hangman and whenever we have the energy of the hangman is that you're trying to find your inner strength and then you have the king of Pentacles whoever this king of Pentacles the star of Virgo um, man is you know whatever the situation is you know you or really looking at it and you're thinking yeah people whatever you know um whatever and whoever this person is is a taurus a burger or a capricorn but you you know you're looking for your inner light and whatever this person is coming with you're just there in an angman position trying to find your way forward with inner strength you're going to decide to go on a new journey there's going to be a new beginning for you so whatever is happening with inner strength you're going to try to find the inner strength to begin something new in your life and this is going to be wonderful so be aware of what is happening as we look at the weekend as I've said it's gonna be a, a wonderful weekend you have the four of cups you still have three cups the universe is giving you something but yet still your turn in your back on that thing whatever it is you are not accepting what the universe is given to you you're turning your back and you're walking away the number eight is your energy vibration because this is so powerful in this week as we move forward we have the energy of the two of um, cups and we have the king of cups yourself so on Sunday you're going to connect with someone and this person is going to bring a lot of love and life this person is going to be understanding it could that you're co connecting with your father and your mother let him them know what had happened and um, you are going to realize that situations are happening in your life and you are going to be bringing in change so the number four and the number eight is going to be your energy vibration there's something that I really really want to ask and what I want to ask is that who is this king of cups and why is he there I want to know who is the devil and what is the energy playing with the devil you're protecting yourself from your inner demons and the energy of the angman which you have twice so this is very very positive on Tuesday with the hermit and the devil you're protecting yourself from your inner um, from the, your inner uh, your negative energy you're protecting yourself from the negative thoughts that are coming towards you um, your inner demons you're protecting yourself from your inner demons okay and you want to leave that behind so it's not really a relationship is that you're protecting yourself from your inner demons you some people could be protecting their relationship Another wonderful news that I see here on Thursday is that whatever is happening, you're in a light, you're you're looking for your inner light and you have the energy of the Angman and it has to do with this king of coins which is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and you have the energy of the Angman because you're looking for your inner light whoever this person is he's trying to take away your inner light but it's not going to work there are new things and good things are happening this week is a week of temperance it's a week of connecting with family in your family life it's going to be good what a rest is going to be you're fighting against the inner demons and you are trying to find within your inner life the number eight energies is going to be wonderful it's going to be a positive week whatever is happening there's a judgment happening and you're walking away from it your weekend is going to be balanced I haven't seen this weekend for a lot of people in this week because you have the cups energy and you are the energy of the emotions and the water you have the number four and the number eight which is very good because what is happening is that um, the universe is giving you something but you decided to refuse it and you're turning your back on it whatever is happening on Sunday you're going to be connecting um, with your partner so as I said this week is going to be a nostalgia week because it's saying it's a happy family week but yet still um, you're turning your back on a lot of stuff you're going to find the inner strength to make a new start okay let's go and what do we have this card keep on coming up Archangel Michael 
um, Arch Archangel Michael to help you with this situation so whatever the situation that is happening for you Pisces Arch Archangel Michael to help you with the situation so Archangel Michael thank you for um, assisting me with the situation please help me to be filled with faith and peace at all times okay as we move on we are going to look and see what else is happening decide to be happy now thank you for helping me open my heart uh, to happiness joy and bliss I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life so this is going to be wonderful okay um, whatever is happening let's go on and look at the situation that is happening for us in your lives and then we are going to see what is happening the ascendance masters please show us what the Pisces have to deal with Serasmus Bay so you have Serasmus Bay is one of the best energies one of the best ascendance masters they're all good in their own form you can always say I walk with Serasmus Bay but Serasmus Bay was the keeper of the white uh, flame of ascension so the ascension flame is very white in um, and um, in Atlantis and it is now the coin of the fort ray of harmony he is known as the Egyptian as the Egyptian because he works with Archangel Metatron to suffuse the great pyramids with cosmic um, wisdom energy at the time of its construction in drawing this card you are invited to stand within the flame the white flame and feel its influence connect with Serasmus Bay and draw its energies of wisdom cooperation and um, dedication to you he is the only masters to work with the Seras the Seraphimi angels and they will shower you with blessings as you attune into the ascension this ascension card so please this is wonderful for you Pisces um, working with um, um, Serasmus Bait this is um, just wonderful I work with him too sometimes I just call upon him to come in and you know stand in my horror sometime as I give the energy vibration read and what I have also for you it is Orion um, I honor the masters of Orion and visit them in my sleep tonight so you can always connect with Orion because um, they are the great masters and they invite you to visit them in your uh, during your sleep and dream time to download cosmic wisdom and information this is an honor so prepare yourself with intention during the day times by showering lighting a candle playing soft music or walking in nature then you will receive much a spiritual light Orion is the star chakra of the universe you may find it uh, helpful to ask Archangel Mariel to lighten up your personal uh, soul star chakra which is above your head to facilitate your connection okay so whatever the situation is you need to understand that this is a very important that you do this so I'm saying to you Pisces have a wonderful week please like share thumbs up this video and have a, have a wonderful week it is so hot here it is really hot yeah.